Hello boys and girls. Hello all. How are you all doing? The bounce is what today? Well, before we decide what the bounce is, half of the bounce went to the beach and had a good time. Okay. I yes. can't believe this. Let's address it. Before <laughs> that, let's introduce, well, I guess to introduce themselves yes. before we discuss <laughs> this particular matter. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, my love. I am Precious Gaza. And okay. Shall I say who I Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And I'm the content creator and Sigusel Advocate. Yes, sir. Um, Excellent. Okay, my name is Annette Akinshete. I'm, I'm a doctor. I'm a public health physician. And when, when I say public health, when you say, okay, well, can you, I can come down to anybody's level. I talk with the community. I, in fact, that's where I found my voice, speaking with the community away from the clinical um, aspects of medicine. And um, because my, my first specialty was in anesthesia and, and to be locked up in the four walls of, of an operating room was not my style. So coming out into the community and talking to people, that's where I found my voice. So I like this kind of banter. <laughs> Amazing. I appreciate being here and being with young people. I enjoy that. Amazing. Now back to you. <laughs> you were also in the community yes. this weekend. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was just, I, I'll i tell you about my weekend. I spent my weekend as a working gal. I was at my factory site from Friday to Sunday, literally the entire day. Mm-hmm. So this does, I didn't do anything this weekend apart from work with, you know, with laborers. Mm-hmm. So that was fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was productive, but whatever. Now, you know, I just came home scrolling through my Instagram. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I just saw that Jola, I just opened Jola's story. I saw beach. I th- I canceled it. <laughs> I went back. Wait, let me cross check again because you guys have heard on this podcast <laughs> where Jola is always making noise about what she doesn't like the beach. She doesn't like the beach. So ask me why. She was at the beach this weekend. Well. Ask me. I did, I even saw you inside the pool. I said, I ha. couldn't believe it. I said, guys, excuse me. Not only is she at the beach. <laughs> this woman that said she doesn't like sand. <laughs> so let's, so, you know, what is my conclusion? First of all, she's a liar. That's, that's obviously number one. First of all, you're a, you're a dirty liar. Number two is that, that means that me, when I want to invite her to the beach, is not good enough for her. No, but when no, other people... people. <laughs> want to take her to the beach that's when she no, has no, a lot of no, spare time no. and what energy so I just want you guys to take note of all the things <laughs> that go on on this podcast so that the day this place scatters you you will know why I was very surprised okay. my friend had a bridal shower and I thought it would be somehow if I don't make an appearance so I went there begrudgingly I must say Imagine my shock and surprise and I started having a good time. <laughs> Everything was very, very plain and simple. We didn't have to walk too far. You know, sometimes they say the beach house is Inside, you walking for you three kilometers, excuse me. On the me. front of one court bike. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It was very, very easy going. This episode is brought to you by Flutterwave who along with WizKid have launched Send, a new way to send money to people who matter to you everywhere. You can send and receive money from people in the US, the UK, the EU, South Africa, Ghana, Kenya and lots more countries. You can receive money on Send using your Butter account, mobile money or your bank account. It really just depends on your location. To find out more, visit send.flutterwave.com to start sending and receive money across 29 countries okay guys back to the episode okay That's very good. before we get into our topic of the day we help with dilemmas yeah in this podcast now doctor mm-hmm. i want to let you know that a lot of people have these a lot are not of the clinical dilemmas that <laughs> <you're facing. laughs> like, these dilemmas are much less wise they, you know, much less <laughs> serious. <laughs> These are what you call self-inflicted <laughs> problems. Okay, by I'll see large. So. where I can come in. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So this person calls herself the FK to my jaws. Gosh. <laughs> someone, can I just FK say that someone added jaws. me on Instagram mm-hmm. and their handle is FK's wine glass. <laughs> and I, I want no, to you have to check it. Are you, are you, yeah. The problem is they only follow you. <laughs> So I was like, but this is a new account spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. So this person says, hmm, guys, this one is long, but I'll try to make it short. Please, Jola and FK, help me out before I finally break a marriage of over 16 years. Huh? There are three main characters in this scenario. One, there is my auntie, in brackets, my uncle's wife, who once called me a shameless disgrace. Why? Because she found out I had a little late night encounter with her cousin that came visiting one time. Unrelated, Sha, I had a good time and I think she should look into her family more often. Then there's my uncle. 
a chronic womanizer and follower of anything that has breasts and a big bum. Three, there is me, innocent and very much in need of a solution. Now let's get into the problem. Last Christmas, my uncle's wife didn't come back to Nigeria with the kids. They spent Christmas in London. But my uncle stayed back in Nigeria because he had, in quotes, stuff to attend to. Indeed, this man had a lot of stuff to attend to because the variety was a lot. Today, she's six feet. Tomorrow is Caucasian. Next week is one Americana. Man changed women like babies, changed diapers. And mind you, I knew 100% of what he was doing was bad, but I can't really see anything because I live in his house. And I'm on his payroll. Well, the devil, as I can see, has worked remotely and very hard to <laughs> frustrate me this time. Because tell me why after four months, I received a call from my uncle's wife asking about the events that took place in her absence during Christmas. May I also add that this auntie has really pushed for my success in the house. She is the reason I was able to do my master's in the UK. She bought me my first car and it's super nice. But let's not forget, she has also called me a disgrace because I slept with her cousin. Anyway, I lied to her that I really wasn't at home during Christmas. So I don't know what happened. Only for this woman to tell me the chef told her I was at home throughout the holidays and even assisted in the kitchen. You can imagine my reaction. How do I lie again? <laughs> anyway, she's back in Lagos, but I'm in Abuja. And she has promised to call me to call me back next weekend. And I am extremely scared. According to my mom, the woman has endured a lot during the marriage and has finally decided to divorce my uncle. If she finds out the story she's hearing um, are true. Now everyone in his family is looking at me like, hmm, I don't know that man. And I don't know what to do. Guys, help me out. If you find yourself in such a situation, what would you do? The worst thing is this woman can be extremely angelic and very devilish. I wonder what she'll do if she finds out that I lied to her. But if I tell her the truth, the marriage is done. This is my first time sharing the problem. So you guys know it's really, really bad. <laughs> okay, she said that if she says that the marriage is done, this yes. same marriage that we're looking at. <laughs> okay, it's not done already before now. No, if okay, she says it's, it's, she's the one that's going to be the destruction of yeah, the marriage. Yeah, they're going to not, say she said not the uh, party pack of women that no, have been no, in no. the household. This home, she the they're, going, they're using her as a witness, as a corroborating witness. I she should scatter it. That's my personal opinion. You think she should? Say? I think she should even. She should even, her. She should even describe it. There was one wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> that one. I like her. She was nice. <laughs> I think she should even scatter it completely. Yes. Because let me tell you the problem that she's having. Everyone wants to make it. It's not her fault now. Was she the one bringing them? No. First of all, also, where, why is the cook involved? <laughs> I want to address that. Can't you mind your business? <laughs> Doctor, what do you think? I've heard a lot, you know, the rundown, yeah? But I didn't hear anything about the conversation between her and her uncle. Ah, did they have, did they have any conversation? I highly that, doubt. That's just something I'm curious about. This episode of the I Said What I Said podcast is brought to you by Star Adler. Star Adler is a refreshing blend of Star Lager beer and natural fruit juice flavors. It contains only 2% alcohol. And so it's a go-between for people who want a little bit more excitement than just, you know, regular schmegla beer. Star Adler is available in two flavors, citrus, which they came in and I love, a blend of orange and lemon fruits and red fruits, a blend of citrus with strawberry and cranberry fruits. Uh, Michael Jackson is a fan of that. They are available in 45CL bottles and a new C33CL sleeve can. All right, guys, back to the episode. But yeah, why we're here. Good. Yeah. All right. So June, if I'm not mistaken, is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. Exactly. Yes. June is Sickle Cell. June 19th. Yes. Sickle Cell Day, as well. actually. Sickle Cell Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. September is the... Awareness month. Okay, September is the month. Okay, June the is the day. Is not in the awareness it, it, month. It, 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 okay, you explain that. Yeah. You <laughs> okay, go ahead I'll say they they recently. So June has always been the World Sickle Cell Day, but we never had an awareness month. month. So I think they nearly just empty September as a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually the other way around. Oh, it's the other For way around. For many, 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 many years, Americans. In Americans, that's the funny thing. Yeah, Americans were observing um, September as um, the month. Cell awareness month, month. Oh, and okay. it didn't really trickle to the rest of the world, the world yeah. but o- over the years we've been <laughs> fighting and fighting for <clears throat> the world for the United Nations the United Nations that designates days, days to f- they give us one day for World Sickle Cell Day mm. 
And in fact, I'm so proud and I'm privileged, I'm blessed that I was there in New York, in the United Nations, when this was happening. We were pushing for it. It was, it's a lot of negotiation. It's a yeah, lot of lobbying. Really? It's, a lo- it's not something you just get. And sickle cell being a condition that affects mostly us. Mostly yeah. us. They don't, to tell you the truth, they don't care. In, the, in the national stage, in that UN where everything happens, they push to the back. Mm. That's the truth. That's how things happen. Okay, so, so for people who mm. may not know, um, because you take for granted the information mm. you have, um, what is sickle cell? Yeah, and how does it affect Okay, very, it's a very good question, fundamental question. Is is a, I, I like to quickly say there's so many myths around it. Mm-hmm. You know, so many myths surrounding it, including things like, oh, is Abiku? Abiku is uh, in Yoruba. Child who's born. Yeah, child who's born. Comes, comes back and comes back and comes back. The reason being that if it's a familial or genetic condition, it can come back in that same family. It doesn't mean that the child that died has came back. Yeah, they believe in like reincarnation. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And if you're Igbo speaking, it's Obanje. It's similar. It's the same thing. Okay. But it is a hereditary condition. Something you get from your father and your mother. It is genetic. Something in the genes. And you know, it's not contagious. It's not, it's not, you can't catch it by hugging someone, by associating close with someone. You can never get it that way. It is genetic. It is hereditary from father and mother. Okay, what does, what's the problem in it is a blood disorder. And in fact, the most common blood disorder in the world. The most common. And that's why you keep wondering, if it's so common, why has nothing been done around? Yeah. And that's because they're not pushing that agenda. That, and then why are they pushing that agenda? Because let's face it, black people are not, we we're not really there yeah. in the United Nations where these things happen. Okay, it's in the blood. In the blood, where does, where's the problem? The problem is in the red blood cells. cells. I'm sure you remember your biology. I remember. <laughs> your red blood cell. You have another one. I remember. White oh. when they yeah. tell us about this. Yeah. I'm yeah. also AS, so it's you have white blood top cells. of mind. You have what they call platelets. But the problem in sickle cell lies in the red blood cells. And in that red blood cell, what is it? Is there's a substance inside called hemoglobin. It's okay. It's a big body. But it does wonderful work in the body. What it does is helps us we just take it for granted because we're breathing and we're moving. But the air we breathe in, we extract oxygen from it. And what does that extraction is that substance called hemoglobin. Mm-hmm. It extracts the oxygen, helps you to carry oxygen around the body. And that's how we are alive. Without oxygen, we're dead. Mm. We're dead. So you can imagine a condition that affects that hemoglobin and unable to carry oxygen around your body. There will be what we call anemia. For instance, for one reason, the, why is it called sickled, sickle cell? Do we think my mom in particular used to say, ah, sickle cell because you're always sick. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. She used to tell my dad, you're always sick, you have sickle cell. You have... It's not because you're always sick. The cell, the, the red blood cells change shape from the normal round cell. It's supposed to be round like a donut and if you see it under a microscope, it moves, they, they move very easily within even mm-hmm. narrow blood vessels. They just glide. They hit the, they hit the wall of a vessel and glide and you know, it's, nature is beautiful. But when you have uh, sickled cells, they're shaped like a sickle. Mm. But I keep saying, I don't, I don't teach medical students sickle because I never saw a sickle. Yeah, you don't until, know what it means. Also, I entered the university yeah. and they showed me, I said, okay, that's a harvesting tool. Yeah. But it, it's shaped like a banana. If you see it under a microscope, the cells are not round. They're shaped like a crescent moon or like a banana or let us see. Yeah. And then if they're shipped that way, what happens is it's stuck. they also, they, 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 rather than glide through the vessels, they begin to get stuck along the, the blood vessel lines and then they clog and then they block the vessel. When they block a blood vessel, then the blood does not reach Move, the tissues. Yeah. Blood does not reach your end organs. And the body's way of telling you there is a problem pain. is pain. Yeah. That's nature. Nature is just, God is just wonderful the way he made us. When he says there's pain, there's a problem there. And that body, the way your body's telling you there's pain and that's because blood is not getting to these tissues. Blood is not getting to these end organs. And where the pain is most Mostly felt is in the bones. Mm. And why in the bones? Because in, in the marrow of the bones, in the, the marrow is the reddish substance in the center of the long bones. I know you don't break chicken yeah, anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that thing you young do. people, but in our yeah. time, we used to break chicken. I like biology the, a lot. The, mar- the marrow. Yeah. I did. I you, remember. You were. <laughs> I was very good at biology. You okay. see? I did so the IV. I got a seven. Okay, dear. That marrow is where blood cells are formed. Mm. That's where blood cells are formed. Any kind of blood cell, white, red. So the problem really when there's pain is mostly felt in the bones. bones, And sometimes people with sickle cell will tell you, 
I don't even know where the pain is coming from. You can throw light on it. They yeah. say it's on the head, it's on the back. I, I can't localize it. Literally everywhere. That's what, people, that's what we call mm. it. The hallmark, the, crisis, the hallmark yeah. of the disease is pain. Mm. It's pain. So the crisis is when this happens and then you're in pain. Yeah. And then you're in pain. So and what many happens? things trigger the crisis. Yeah. You can probably talk about yeah. that. Yeah. So what triggers like crisis? Mm. What, what causes like... <laughs> And she's laughing at you, baby. Because it's like every, <laughs> literally almost every scene. Like wow. if I'm, if I'm standing for too long, if there's stress, wow. if I'm too emotional, if I'm emotional, too excited, if oh, there's wow. rain, if I swim, if I take a long road trip and I'm seated for a long time, mm-hmm. if I dance for too long, mm-hmm. if I take a long walk, I can't run, I can't jog, I can't, it's just a very long list. Yeah. So yeah, as a child, I was just like, so does that now make you now super careful about everything? Yes, you have to everywhere do? I go. Like I'm even here with my meds because mm. like I'm yes, we wearing be- a sweater. Yeah. You know? So like everywhere I go, I'm always like, okay, where am I going? Is it cold? Is it hot? Do I need water? Do I need my meds? Um, how long do I need to stay? Two hours and I'm out. Like so like it's just very I'm always just you have thinking. To, like, be and even with my friends, they're just like, Okay, we're going to the cinema. Oh, I carry the blanket or oh, oh it, when we are going somewhere, like, okay, where's the nearest hospital yeah. where we are going? Where's the nearest pharmacy? So in sense. case anything happens. So that's just how wow. I live my life. I'm always just like Away. anywhere I'm passing, I'm like, Okay, I'm coming to Lake, where's the nearest pharmacy or hospital? Yeah. Yeah. So that just I'm But just you know like, the wonderful thing about persons with sickness that I have related with as patients, as friends, as relatives is you better make them your friends. Mm. They, have, they have everything. <laughs> they, you can, if you, go to, if you want to get lost on a desert island, there has to be somebody who has yeah, water. They, they know everything. They are resourceful. Yes, yes actually. They, they are super. That's why I really admire them. So I think one of the things, you're, all the things you're saying, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. They, their hand back, take their hand back, everything is there. <laughs> you want food, food, food this, if you want, uh, uh, they're the best people to have around you. <laughs> I tell you. And they know yeah. themselves. They know the, the, as they grow older, they understand yeah. mm. you know, when it's coming. Yeah. So they make I it always the know. I'm yeah. curious, did it take your friends a while to like kind of be able to, to understand that, okay, we're going somewhere so we also have to consider uh-huh. someone should bring a blanket yeah. versus exactly. coming and all of that. Like, yeah. did you have to educate all of them? Yes, yes. It was like a seminar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. like I'm very... So like the way I grew up because of my condition I grew up very proactive yeah. Yeah, because obviously as a child I always had people looking after yes. me but as I became from adulthood my you parents are like oh yourself. you have to take look, control oh, and yes. I obviously I had to and when I left the country I was all by myself so I had to like you know so I sat them down like let's talk about yeah let's yeah. have the conversation yeah. so when this happens this is what's happening so they're and they're asking questions okay so when you start having a crisis what, what should, should we do? do i say you have to call the ambulance you have to just get a car and so like i just educated exactly. all of them yeah. so whenever we're together they always know what to do and i'm if i'm with strangers and it's happening i just call the most person that i'm comfortable with i'm like so this is what is going yeah. on i need help and it took a while for me to be comfortable asking Talking for help because it. obviously we see questions just like I don't want to be a burden I don't want to bother people mm. but like as life it is life yeah. so I just yeah so mm. yeah so I want to ask about the kind of research that has gone into um, sickle cell anemia um, I mean cancer is a really big um, area. research area and there have been it does sometimes it doesn't feel like it's getting better. There have, there have been lots of strides being made, especially in like it certain types of types cancer, of cancer where people yeah. no longer are passing away True. as them. much as so. breast cancer, yeah. Yeah. Yes. cervical, yeah. prostate, yeah, just like areas that. But I wanted to ask what um, sickle cell anemia um, research and treatments um, look like. No, a part of me really does feel like, like you said, because like a lot of the African continent isn't taking it as seriously. It's a disease that primarily affects black us, yeah. black people. It's very it's actually like just it's just us yeah so there's i sometimes wonder if it's so slow because for for some reason we don't have enough research and development being pumped into mm-hmm. this disease i wanted to ask mm-hmm. what does that look like is there a cure is there mm. like pain alleviation mm-hmm. is there long term because it just feel, it just sometimes seems like the only information that's very public is there's a crisis they need to go to the hospital yeah and we manage till you're very correct but let, let me just dial back a bit. True, I said um, sickle cell is a condition that affects us mm-hmm. the most. There's no doubt. Nigeria is number one in the world. Mm-hmm. True. But it's not only um, like in Africa. It doesn't affect all of us in Africa. Oh. It's only us in tropical Africa. Mm. There's, yes. there's, there's, across the world, there's a place with something they call the malaria belt. Yeah. yeah. 
malaria built. And that's wherever you have malaria. You have sickle cell. That's where you have sickle cell. So okay. Southern Africa, Doesn't where you went it. in South Africa, they don't have sickle cell. In North Africa, they don't have sickle cell. So it's us in the, in the tropical Africa, West Africa, across to Central Africa, to East Africa. But you can even go beyond to, to the, to the uh, I'm coming back to the, to the West, to the um, Arabian Peninsula, yeah. to the um, Asian subcontinent, yeah. to where we call the um, Indonesian archipelago. Yeah. You know, so, but they have not as much as we do. Okay. In other words, it's not only black people, all right. but it's mostly black people. And amongst black people, it's not all of us in Africa. Yeah. It's us in the, in the tropical area. South Africans don't have it. So Southern Africans don't have it. They say by migration. Northern Africans don't have it. Mm. And then, of course, because of slavery, slave trade that moved West Africans Out. to America, we have a lot of it in America. We have a lot, not as much as us. We have in the UK, yeah. wherever slaves went. In There's the Caribbean, the, yeah. Jamaica, mm-hmm. Jamaica, for instance, sickle cell is big and they have severe complications more than we do. Oh, sorry, before space, we go, let's not forget. You're filling a space. Camera. Hello, you Michael should. Jackson. <laughs> this is Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> for reasons Michael Jackson. you'll soon. Uh, please, what is Michael Jackson wearing today? That's always a, a hot topic. It's a shirt So you and know the jeans. thing, if you start from, you know, my theory is always correct. <laughs> I have a theory. There's, he, he is into fashion. He dresses nice and normal, <laughs> but there is like, uh, he, if he doesn't introduce an element of chaos, he can fit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is what always happens. Because you can oh see gosh. like, the hat lovely hat. You know, today's wearing shirt. two earrings, you know, so like maybe he's in the 90s or something. I don't know. <laughs> then, you know, he has a, a nice shirt and, you know, the jeans are nice. And then it just becomes a, a chaotic <laughs> environment. <laughs> because, Okay, let's even say he was wearing yellow socks based on you know, some there's some yellow, in yellow shirt, on his shirt, gold earrings. Then you now see this shoe of like his grandpa, <laughs> <laughs> which he wore on his wedding day, and you have to ask yourself, hey, what is going? On? Do you know what I mean? What is what is like what's what's happening here? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, as usual, please make sure you leave your comments. Leave comments. Use the hashtag. Use the hashtag. Also, uh, I hope you guys are aware that by the time you come back, online PVC registration would have closed however in the month of June you can still go to a physical center you guys are voting for our lives so I want Honestly. you to wake up and see what's going on yeah. there's a lot of clownery of the soft landing yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so far floor landing. for the de- are you listening to <laughs> me? we are trying to make Nigeria a so far so floor, far floor. <laughs> okay that's Alexis Daniel as president <laughs> that's what I suggest anyway but- <laughs>